joining us. We're following the breaking news out of Haiti. The largest, most powerful earthquake in the region. History has crippled the country, measuring 7.0. Epicenter was just a few miles out. Ten miles from the epicenter. And he says there could be major devastation there. losses that have been suffered in Haiti are nothing less than devastating. In responding to a disaster of this magnitude will require every element of our national capacity. Several Coast Guard cutters are already there providing everything from basic services like water to vital technical support for this massive logistical operation. The magnitude of what happened um, and how widespread it was is just absolutely, um, like I said, it's beyond words to really say how devastated everybody is. And, and Arriving within hours of the earthquake, Coast Guard Cutter's Mohawk in Tahoma arrived in Haiti to assist the devastated country. The Coast Guard's multi-mission platform was well suited and effective in the chaotic, intense days and weeks following the earthquake. Basically every mission that we flew uh, into Haiti, uh, we basically removed all the cargo from the aircraft and uh, the crew then set up troop seats in the back of the aircraft, uh, all working together uh, so that we could fly approximately 75 or so uh, survivors out of Haiti that needed to medical care or were U.S. citizens trying to return. I'm Lieutenant Commander John McLean from the Deployable Operations Group out of Arlington, Virginia. We're here down in Haiti uh, trying to go ahead and restore this high site here on the top of Dile Gone Mountain, which is on the island just off of Haiti, about 60 clicks. If we get it back up, it'll help provide fire, police, and EMS in the outer claws and all over this island here. The Coast Guard participation during Operation Unified Response was admirable and once again showed to the world that the members of the Coast Guard fully honor the core values of honor, respect, and devotion to duty. Please welcome tonight's awardees. Representing the Coast Guard Cutter Fleet, HS1 Elias Gomez, FN Nathan Singer, ET3 Carlton Randall Jr. Representing Coast Guard Aviation, Lieutenant William Friday, AMT1 Jeremy Tuttle, AST2 Justin Monk. Representing the Coast Guard Atlantic Area Support Units, Lieutenant John McLean, EM2 Paul Clifford. Representing the Coast Guard Reserves, BM1 Michael Miller. Representing the District 7 Support Units, PA3 Sabrina Algamel. Representing the Coast Guard Auxiliary, Mr. Ryan Bank. And representing the Coast Guard Civilian Employees, Mr. Carl Hatfield. 